Today we're doing a studio tour. So welcome to where we live and where we work and where we spend most of our time. A lot of people have been asking to see what our studio looks like. So we're gonna show you. This is our hallway, it's super wide. We have sound blankets just living on C stands because we do a lot of recording in here and we have tall ceilings and it's a wide space. So it just muffles the sound, gets rid of echo, that sort of thing. And behind these sound blankets is this beautiful brick wall. This is probably 95% of the reason that I love this place. It looks like raw and natural and old school. When we first moved here, I used to lose my keys all the time. Now I don't lose them. And I feel like this is actually a good idea for everyone. I put my keys in the exact same spot. I put them right there. And look, that's how I know they're mine, unicorn. This might look cute, but I can also stab you with it if you attack me. So don't attack me. And we also have our studio. Today, we shot a corporate video in here on green screen with a talking head. Let's go down there. This is my desk. It's actually pretty clean right now because I like to live in a state of chaos. I just don't care about cleaning up little details. The cables are not that tangled today. And I do a lot of my editing here. I have my little pig who's my friend because it is so easy. As you probably know, when you're an editor, when you do video stuff, to just spend hours and hours and days and weeks working on a project without speaking to anyone else. So that's why I have my pig. Will and I built these desks out of maple wood that we got from the family farm. So back in the day, my grandfather and my dad planed and cut down and dried out all of this wood and they didn't really do anything with it. So we made these desks. I love this detail on the desk, this imperfection. Oh, and we made another table over here. Ow. We made this table too, which I actually don't like as much. Um, I turned it blue by accident. If you watch our Instagram stories, you would have seen what happened with that. I guess it's kind of cool, but it's really hard when you put your legs up when you're sitting on the couch because when you put your legs on it, these things break off. And that's not good, because then I have to vacuum them up. And I break the table. <laughs> Ooh, let me show you something I'm really good at doing. So, for fun, I like to solve solve um, Rubik's cube. Rubik cubes. <laughs> I hope you can solve it better than you can pronounce the name. Rubik's, look. Just kidding. I have no idea how to solve this thing. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you my desk now. This is my desk. I recently converted it into a stand-up desk, so I'll show you that right now. This is the same type of top that Ali has, except I uh, switched the legs for the electric stand-up desk. So this is my cardioid mic. This is how I do the voiceovers for all the videos. This is my 34-inch ultra-wide LG monitor. This is an LED IPS monitor, and that basically means that the uh, colors are pretty accurate and you can look at it from almost any direction and it's not gonna change the color. Sometimes on older monitors or any non-IPS monitor, if you look at the screen from the very bottom or from the very top, it will give you an inaccurate display of what uh, is on the screen. So IPS is a really great monitor, really recommend this. Then over here, we have our safe and the Movi, the M5. This is what we use for the majority of our shoots. This is the Kessler five foot slider, the motion control ring. We've used this in the same video that I did for the uh, stand-up desk. Up here we have the projector that goes across and projects on our mechanical projector screen. This is a 16 foot wide screen. If you want to come over here, I'll show you that. So over here is the control for it. And so that is our giant projector screen. It's definitely overkill. It's like 16 feet long and we do not need something that big, uh, but it came with a space, so it's a huge plus. So this is our big green screen. We just had this for the corporate shoot. Over here we have another computer. This is a 2008 Mac Pro Tower. That's what I started editing with. I started doing a visual effects work on feature films a few years back, probably 2009, 2010. And now we don't really use this computer at all. I have Pro Tools uh, installed on it, so it's more of like my audio workstation. I have a little MIDI keyboard here and an electric drum kit. The green screen is just covering right now because of the shoot. So this is our studio space. This is uh, the front big room. Everything else is more of our living space, but we do shoot in like the kitchen, the hallway quite often as well. For lighting, we have these Lumahawk LED lights. Those are lighting the green screen. Over here, 
We have another LED panel. That's I think a 500 watt. Then we have a 1K equivalent hard light. This is like a Fresnel, except it's an LED, so it draws basically no power in comparison. It won't get hot. It's an incredible light. And it's only a few hundred dollars, so I got that off B&H. This one is a uh, Smith Victor light. You can look for the 1K equivalent. It's called Cool LED 100, I believe. Then here, this is your you know classic film industry light. This is the uh, KinoFlow Diva. This is a, a really great light. We have the soft bag as well on top, which uh, diffuses the light and makes skin tones look nice as well. Today's shoot, we're using the GH5 with the Voigtlander lens. That's the uh, 50 mil equivalent. This is the small monitor for referencing focus. It's an OLED screen, so the picture is super bright. Clients really love it, really high quality, and it's Gorilla Glass. So <laughs> in their promos, they actually had a tank run over it. So, so if I stepped on it, would it break? Probably already have stepped on it, knowing me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you can knock your socks off uh, later if you want. What am I, 80 saying knock your socks off? <laughs> Look, I knocked them off. They're off. Those sound blankets, those are just from Home Depot. Those are just moving blankets, but they work exactly the same as the Pro uh, sound blankets. So save yourself some money, just get the moving blankets. All right, let's, uh, let's move on to the hallway. There's the acoustic guitar. That's where we keep it. This is the downstairs bathroom. Really big shower, we love this. There's one upstairs that is the exact same, however, it doesn't have like the nice black kind of paint brick. The sexy you paint. <laughs> it's not called the sexy paint, but. I call it the sexy paint. <laughs> so you can see this one has the bricks as well. There are my towels that I love that no one else cares about. <laughs> the, the decorative towels? Yeah. You're not allowed to use them, they're, they're just there for show. <laughs> So this is our kitchen. As you can hear, it's very echoey in here because it's just all a big square with a flat, hard surfaces. Here's our center island that we love. And you'll notice that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 10 drawers and cupboard doors that are open in the kitchen. That's all Allie's work. She yeah, made. right. <laughs> yeah, those are I all you. I think so. I <laughs> never leave the cupboards open. <laughs> okay. She, she likes to come down, make her tea or coffee, and then just leave the door open as it was. And then uh, I come down and close them, so. I don't have time to close cover doors. Thank you. So this is like my daily routine. <laughs> I like to keep you busy. <laughs> You'll notice we have film tape over all the logos. That's like your classic film tip. We have the dinner table over there, which is pushed into the corner because we don't really use it too often. We normally uh, eat here at these two chairs or in the front room. So now we will head upstairs. Do you want to uh, do this part? Yeah, because my arm hurts. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so dark up here. So these are the stairs I run every day, 10 times up, 10 times down. It's a good workout. This is where we sleep. King size bed that is amazing. And Will sleeps with a really thin blanket and I sleep with a really heavy blanket because I'm always cold. We have really tall ceilings in here too. Our closet. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, there you Damn go. It. Open. That's not typical. That's not typical Open. though. That's not typical. Thank you. <laughs> Just keeping you on your toes. And this is where we do our laundry. Convenient. On the same floor we sleep. It's pretty good. And there you go. So this place also is a hundred year old school, or it was a hundred year old school that was converted into lofts. And honestly, it's a perfect space for us in our lifestyles right now. I'm really hungry right now. So I'm gonna go eat. You have yourself a lovely rest of your day or evening. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Let me know, do you work and live in the same Space and how do you feel about it? Do you like it or do you wish you had a workspace away from your home? Personally, I absolutely love it. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna stop talking. Thanks for checking this video out and we will see you in future videos.